Aloha, thank you for joining us again today for SBA America, where we really focus on small businesses here in Hawaii. And I'm happy to have some small business owners with me here today. A woman-owned business started here in Hawaii to help our local businesses grow and prosper. Um, I'm happy to welcome uh, to the program today, Holomua Consulting Group. Um, thanks for joining us thank today. Thank you for having very much. us. We thank have you. Daphne Tong Pave and Kanoi Jorfa Joglu. Jorfa <laughs> Joglu. <laughs> it's spelled differently too. I can't quite get there. But we'll work on that as we learn more about what they do for business. So tell us a little bit, Daphne, if you would. You're one yes. of the co-founders yes. of the company. Yes. So what made you start this business? Where did the ideas come from? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, perfect. So Shannon Eady, who is my business partner, she's also the president of Holomua Consulting Group. She and I worked together for a defense contractor. They were a native Hawaiian organization owned 8A company at that time. Shannon is an attorney uh -huh. and uh, she handled kind of all of the legal matters. She was their general counsel and I handled all of the compliance issues. So obviously we worked closely together. Um, and the NHO's mission was to kind of help Native Hawaiian businesses. So they would encourage us to talk to people in the community about federal contracting. And, you know, uh, at the time we also helped their sister companies get into the 8A program. And we just realized that there was a need in the community for additional and really hands-on assistance to help small businesses not only get into these small business programs, but mm -hmm. also maximize the opportunities, you know, remain in compliant and um, make the best of these programs. Mm -hmm. So with the support of our former employer, we decided to venture into entrepreneurship. And in 2014, we started Holomua Consulting Group. Uh, we've been doing this full time since 2015. Kanoe joined us mm -hmm. in January of this year, and we are very fortunate to have her. But you know, we really see federal contracting is an opportunity for small businesses, particularly here in Hawaii, to mm -hmm. grow and develop. And our goal is to really help small businesses in Hawaii to make sure that federal dollars that are spent stay you know, with businesses that's here a, in Hawaii. That's a big challenge because yes. federal contracting here is so strong yes, and it attracts correct. a lot of other businesses from yes. outside the state to get a piece of that federal spending. Right. You mentioned a couple of things that people may not really know that much about. Um, the NHO program yes. and also the 8A program. So right. I know that you were kind of getting started working with the contractor, the defense contractor, as the NH pro NHO program is really coming into its own and getting started. So um, NHO, Native Hawaiian Organization, you work with a very special class of Native Hawaiian organizations. Correct, correct. So similar to you know other Native groups, tribes, and Alaska Native corporations, Native Hawaiian organizations have a program within the 8A program, which is for small disadvantaged businesses. It's a business development program. Mm -hmm. And what this NHO model allows for is for profits in the 8A program to funnel their profits back to the nonprofit so they're able to serve the Native Hawaiian community. So as Native Hawaiians, Kanoe, Shannon, and myself are all Kamehameha graduates. Mm -hmm. uh, we obviously feel very strongly about helping the Native Hawaiian community. So um, it's our way of kind of giving back to, you know, really helping companies, NHOs in particular, with navigating and succeeding in the mm -hmm. federal contracting mm -hmm. industry through this special 8A program. Mm -hmm. And the 8A program is SBA certification Correct. for small disadvantaged, socially and economically disadvantaged businesses. Yes to help them get a fair share of government contracts. Right. So each one of the businesses there, or the for-profit entities, have to go through the certification process yes. and things like that, but they're 51% or more Correct. owned by the Native Hawaiian yes, organization. Yes, which is a nonprofit organization. And so the nonprofit organizations. And then they move some of their profits back into those uh, the Native Hawaiian organization, yes. and they do all sorts of different things to help the Native Hawaiian community. Right, right, mm -hmm. correct. So mm -hmm. there's a number, I, I want to say there are roughly 20 NHOs, and I could mm -hmm. be wrong, but they kind of vary in their mission from, mm -hmm. you know, education to economic development. Um, one helps, I think, um, boys who kind of have, they, they just help with develop, mm -hmm. developing young men. Um, what are some others? STEM education. I know it really there's vary. cultural preservation. Yes. Uh, um, tech education yes. and uh, the Maui Digital Bus is mm -hmm. one of those yes. programs. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're very, you know, fish pond restoration. There right. are mm -hmm. really a lot of very, very worthy projects. Um, 
uh, Hawaiian language. Um, yes. all, the, all different kinds of things can come out of this right. that are very, it's, very beneficial. Absolutely, it's very beneficial. I think it's also a great way for the organizations themselves, the business owners, to feel like they're giving back to their own community. Mm -hmm. And through the organization and choosing their own mission, they feel like they get to serve a part of the community that they have a personal connection to. So mm -hmm. I think that is a huge benefit. Right. And I think helps to want to make you prosper your for-profit company as well as the organization because you're attached to the mission mm -hmm. of the And I know that not only do they try and funnel profits back into uh, the nonprofit organization, but they also put a lot of uh, kind of in-kind and yeah, support, definitely. you know, they'll get out and help clean the fish ponds. Right. Or, um, I know that Native Hawaiian veterans just did the Wounded Warrior um, competition, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, regatta, the paddle right. regatta. So, right. Um, a lot of different things happen along that line and they really do focus on what they're going to be able to right. do. Right, right. So it's so. A really a great opportunity for the Native Hawaiian community through, like you said, the 8A program, which individuals can also participate in mm -hmm. um, as long as they you know, are socially and economically disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people come to us, they think that it's only for Native Hawaiians, but mm -hmm. individuals can participate in the program if they meet all of the eligibility mm -hmm. criteria. So. so it has been, uh, it is challenging to get into the program it is. so some of the things that you do with companies is help a, a small business or someone who's interested in getting into contracting take that big step right make those applications right what's that process like I know I hear about it a lot <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny uh, so I used to work for Senator Akaka and a lot of people mm -hmm. would come to us with kind of questions about it and you know you hear from it like you said if you're not doing it you really don't understand what the process is but now that we've been doing it for you know almost two years plus we definitely see the challenges and unfortunately many of the small businesses um, that we work with there's a lot of administrative requirements, so mm -hmm. your corporate documents need to be in order. We also encourage our clients to do a lot of market research up front mm -hmm. to make sure they know what they're getting themselves into, that there's a market for their services or product. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it, it's steps that we go through with our mm -hmm. clients to make sure they have everything in order, that the program is a right fit, that they understand that it's a nine-year program that mm -hmm. has ongoing compliance requirements and mm -hmm. that they're committed to that. And just kind of understanding as well that it's not a golden ticket, that right. there is work. The program is great. It's a business development program. It provides, you know, sole source and set aside opportunities. So it limits competition and you're able to compete, you know, in the marketplace mm -hmm. because you would, you know, a lot of large businesses do federal contracting and it's kind of hard to compete against them if you're a small business. Mm -hmm. So th there's definitely steps in the process, not just with putting together the application, but making sure the business is in a position and ready right. to apply. Because I think that's one thing that we often see at SBA is that a lot of people would like to apply, but right. they're real, the government may not be buying their products. Exactly. Um, it, you may be in a different or the wrong area uh, you need to be ready to grow. Right. So a business, even before they get into the Correct. 8A program, they should have been in business for several years and kind of have a good sense of operations. You've right. got to have a little bit of staying power and the likelihood of success. Um, you do have to show and document you're socially and economically right. disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. So um, there are some groups that automatically would fit into that category, but then you for the economic or social disadvantage, but you still have to show the economic disadvantage right. as well. Right. So it means doing your numbers, right? Right, mm -hmm. right. So and we won't get into that because that's <laughs> extremely complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but um, SBA, you guys are great with putting mm -hmm. on workshops, I think monthly, mm -hmm. um, you know, about the different programs because mm -hmm. there's the 8A program, but there's also women owned and, mm -hmm. you know, veteran, uh, veteran programs. So mm -hmm. the SBA is really great about educating the community because like you said, you really need to go in kind of eyes wide open and um, be ready to right. kind of because we do with it. we do ask you know there's no guarantee you'll get the government contract exactly. but it does give you more exposure access to training access to other uh, resources that will help you grow your business exactly yeah. and unfortunately we do have some firms that maybe aren't the right fit and get one or two contracts right. through the nine years but we're still asking them to do their annual exactly. reviews you're exactly. still going to need um, a lot of that compliance activity like if you change management, if you do some major changes or your business starts to grow and you need to change your business formation right. um, to, you know, just 
your other advisors are going to tell you this is a better way to grow your business. Right. And uh, you may be telling them that. Right. But now you have to do a management change. Exactly. That has to get processed by the SBA. Exactly. So. And sometimes the um, certification process can be grueling it as is. well. It doesn't it happen at the local office. It goes right. through a, a central processing, mm -hmm. and it can take some time. It does. It definitely mm -hmm. does take a lot of time. I you think know? <laughs> when I first came on with Whole mm -hmm. Consulting Group, part of why I wanted to join this wonderful company <laughs> is that my parents were actually business owners and they uh -huh. were federal contractors and they were also in the 8A program. Mm -hmm. So I oh. had a different perspective of the 8A program before I came to Whole and Wool Consulting Group. And I still can't say that last name. <laughs> your family was in the 8A program. You know program. what, just blame my dad. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was born with it. But, you know, they, it was a great avenue for them. They grew their business really quickly and mm -hmm. I, saw firsthand what it takes, the dedication that it takes from a small business, mm -hmm. you know, it can also be a strain in resources if you're not ready for it. Yes. And that's why I just want to reiterate exactly what Daphne was saying, exactly what you were saying. Think about it first, make sure it's the right fit for you, make sure it's the right fit for your company. But if you do it the right way and you are committed to putting mm -hmm. in the work, it can be a wonderful avenue to grow your business. Yeah. I mean, there are some amazing businesses that we all are familiar with if yes. you're in contracting mm -hmm. or anything like that. Uh, in in some of the tech or IT businesses right. here that do a lot of federal contracting. If we look back at Shintani Construction mm -hmm. or NAN or PEMCO, um, Native Hawaiian Veterans, Akimeka, they're, right. you know, Pelotron, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. these companies have, have really grown to be successful and right. expanded beyond Hawaii. Right, you know? exactly. And so we do know how to do business. Yes, yes. yes. exactly. <laughs> so at Holomo, we, we will help with the application process. Uh -huh. We kind of, we have three, I want to say four now, avenues of kind of business. Mm. We help with the small business application. So primarily 8A, but we do do hub zone. Um, we have been assisting with SDVOSB, which is the Service Disabled Veteran Owned Small Business Program. We also help with ongoing compliance, as you mm -hmm. mentioned. Even just being a federal contractor, you have to comply with a lot of laws and regulations. So it can get kind of taxing on small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so Shannon, as an attorney, provides a lot of assistance with HR-related matters, contracting, um, so we help with ongoing compliance. We also do training. Mm -hmm. So um, we do it for our clients. We can create programs for them, but we also ah. have been working with the SBA through right. our nonprofit. We have a co-sponsorship agreement with SBA, um, and we've been doing, we did a series, when was the last? I think there's I think one was... coming up, but let's take a quick break okay. and then we'll get back to what our schedule is and, and what some of those trainings might okay. look like, Perfect. maybe some of the other certifications we deal with. Uh, thanks for staying with us and we'll be right back. Aloha, I'm Kawi Lucas, host of Hawaii is my mainland every Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. I also have a blog of the same name at kawilucas.com where you can see all of my past shows. Join me this Friday and every Friday at 3 p.m. Aloha. Hi, my name is Aaron Wills. You are watching thinktechhawaii.com. I am the host of the show, Rehabilitation, coming soon. You can watch us live at thinktechhawaii.com at 11 a.m. on Tuesdays. I will see you there. Aloha, everyone. I hope you've been watching Think Tech Hawaii. But I'm here to invite you to watch me on Viva Hawaii every Monday at 3 p.m. I'm waiting for you. Mahalo. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you get excited about my new show, which is Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. We're going to broadcast on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. here on uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Hi, I'm Crystal. Welcome to Think Tech. My show, Quok Talk, normally airs at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays, but it's going to change to 11 o'clock. So don't miss it. It's an hour later. You can sleep in a little longer. Come with me and engage in some sensitive, provocative discussions on everything. It's all good, all right? Women's issues, things that people don't dare talk about, we want it on the table. So join me. Thanks for joining us again. We're talking with Holomua Consulting Group, and we're talking about how they can help your business get into doing business with the federal government. So, Daphne, you were just saying that you have a co-sponsorship. You work with some of my team yes. at SBA. Yes, your great and, team. Uh, yes, my great team. <laughs> um, and uh, helping people get introduced to the idea of contracting or some of the skills they need, maybe just how
how it works? Yeah, exactly. So um, we actually have developed kind of an ongoing series that's a little bit more advanced. But I believe beginning next year, we might do kind of just basic, you know, mm -hmm. what is federal contracting? How do you get into federal contracting? So we've been doing training with through the co-sponsorship agreement, but we also do it, you know, on our own. And Kanoi can maybe mention, um, we actually have one coming up. Yes. Uh -huh. So actually, we have started a, a little series of our own doing uh -huh. a coffee talk. Mm -hmm. And what we've noticed with our businesses, we reiterate also all the time that it's relationships. And a lot mm -hmm. of it is the networking portion of building your small business. And especially here in Hawaii, working together, mm -hmm. you know, primes and subs in federal contracting is a great way to grow your business as well. So we have started a coffee talk. Uh, ah. And it's kind of a networking avenue for people, small businesses to get together who do government contracting to get to know each other and kind of talk about the difficulties and strengths mm -hmm. they've seen and kind of just share their stories with one another and build those types of relationships and have camaraderie within mm -hmm. um, their fellow businesses here and fellow contractors here in Hawaii. So ah. our next one actually is next week, Saturday, uh -huh. uh, the following or the September 24th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next week, sat next week Saturday, I believe. Yeah, oh, it's coming, it? coming up. <laughs> Time is going. <laughs> yes, very fast. Mm -hmm. And we are actually very lucky to have Carrie Ann Alu. She's the president of Naali Consulting and oh, Sales. Wonderful. Yes, they mm -hmm. are one of our clients, and also they have been uh, awarded the fastest growing company here in Hawaii by PBN. So uh -huh. they were the number one so of the fastest 50. Wow. Yeah. I like to hear that. Yes. Woman owned business. Woman yes. owned. Woman owned. Yes. It's mm -hmm. also a Native Hawaiian organization owned company as well. Mm -hmm. um, but with the coffee talk, what we find is we allow for networking and then we have a very small piece of just, you know, education. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep that brief and as uh, Kanoi mentioned, just really on point with issues or topics that would be applicable and the audience would find value mm -hmm. in. So. Yeah. So, and I think with government contracting, federal contracting, state contracting, that networking piece is sometimes really, really overlooked because yes. people kind of mi can often miss the opportunity that they could sub on a job and it's a way to get their foot in the door, not yes. just establish a relationship uh, with another company mm -hmm. that may be a little stronger or you know well positioned financially to kind of mentor them along, <clears throat> but it also gives them past performance exactly. on government exactly. contracting, and that makes a tremendous difference. Even if it's a small piece, it does. You know, yes. um, it's a great way to start looking at that, or even create a possibility for a joint venture, right. or a mentor protege, a formal mentor protege right. program that also comes through the NHO right. and the 8A programs, and soon all, all small, small business pro programs. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, you know, do you see that as an opportunity for yes. Olomua? Yeah, definitely. I mean, mm. we highly encourage our clients to network and to look at other opportunities that aren't necessarily prime contracts, mm -hmm. but also teaming, you know, like you said, through mm. either joint ventures or the mentor protege program. As you mentioned, the mm -hmm. regulations recently changed and it's going to allow for now all small businesses to be able to participate in this formal SBA mm -hmm. program. Because our, the SBA program has been limited to 8A Just firms. 8A, yes. And now you don't have to be in the 8A firm to get involved with right, this program. Right, which so, will be great. You know, yeah. I really hope that small businesses take advantage of mm -hmm. that So I think that's going to be a training opportunity for us as well because yes. we are expecting mm -hmm. a lot of interest in how does this work and what do I have to do? Right. What does, it, what does this mean? And right. that's coming up, I think, um, October. You know, that, uh, yeah. that we'll, yes. the, the program will actually start running. So there'll be lots of information out there and lots of other opportunities for small businesses who've been looking at how do I do this? Right. And, but needing perhaps a little stronger partner or, or they're a bigger organization who can then um, right. get together and with a newer company. We've actually heard that. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of large companies, sometimes it's difficult for them because, mm -hmm. so the government has small business goals. They right. want to do work with, you know, small businesses. And that kind of filters down to large businesses who have small business goals as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they are looking for small businesses to work with. And sometimes it's hard to find companies. Um, you know, that have the past performance and the capability to mm -hmm. do what they're looking for. Right, so, so it's, it's out there matchmaking. Exactly. Yes. So I think we'll see a lot of that happening, yeah. you know, going forward into the new year right. as well. And so along those lines, as I mentioned, we kind of have four business lanes. And Kanoi, if you want to touch mm -hmm. on what we do. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So as we mentioned, networking, we think, is, is very important. And mm -hmm. 
you know, it's not just marketing to the federal government, but it's also marketing to other businesses where you can also partner and become a sub and things like that. But a great way of creating those networking opportunities and meeting people are events. And it, mm -hmm. maybe it's not just, you know, outside events, but also maybe building those internal events to help build your team mm -hmm. and creating the right team to help your company prosper. And we've seen that a lot with our clients is that they are not really thinking of events and these types of avenues to help grow their business, both internally and externally, mm -hmm. or they don't have the right resources and time to kind of dedicate to doing things like that. Uh -huh. So we have kind of expanded based on the need of our clients uh -huh. to help doing corporate events for them, mm -hmm. doing planning networking opportunities, staff retreats, uh, helping with conferences, kind of a plethora of events that we've been mm -hmm. helping some of our clients. And so we decided to kind of expand and open that up to the, you know, the rest of Help our potential clients. Help them do the clients. business development yes, they need exactly. internally as well. Yes. Grow your team, give them yeah. more experience, create opportunities there, grow your network and identify what you might be to, doing with other businesses. Like they'd have an open house and invite exactly. subs in mm -hmm. or other, yeah. other firms that they need their assistance or those kind of that kind of work right and so. we found so we actually just did a grand opening but we find that when it's you know out of business hours and kind of people are more relaxed they're more open to talking mm -hmm. and you really foster the relationship mm -hmm. you know when you meet someone you it might not just result in an opportunity right there it might be down the line but you got to mm -hmm. continue to foster that relationship stay in mm -hmm. touch because if something does come up you want them to think of you mm -hmm. so so you're putting together some of these events for some of your clients. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. And so okay. we're opening it up to, to not just our clients, but to businesses that are looking to have events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're pretty much in the business of helping small business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whatever it takes. Exactly. Much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we've definitely learned that, you know, we can't just limit it to federal contracting, that we're helping mm -hmm. these businesses grow their business. So you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. part of the 8A business development program is, you know, you, you're going to be doing federal contracting, but you also want to grow to make sure that you also have a commercial right. portion to your business, yeah. that you're able to sustain that yourself. That becomes pretty important yes. as you move on in the program, program, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as you grow, you, you kind of get used to just marketing to the federal government. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to take a step back and learn how to market your business in general right? mm -hmm. and diversify. Right? Yes, right. Well, that's even built into the program where after you get into those develop beyond the development years mm -hmm. and you're getting ready to exit the program yes. after those nine years, that you have to have that right mix of government contract and other work. Right. And people yeah. don't sometimes realize that because right. we want you to be able to make it when, you know, you're not under, you know, SBA's wing anymore right. or having some of the advantages that yeah. come with the 8A program. Exactly. So we watch that and one of the other things is if you're not doing enough of that, you may not be able to get more government work. Right. So you have to balance that right. percentage yes. right. as you grow in the program. So people, I can see where people definitely need that kind of support. Right, right. And as you mentioned, that kind of goes back to education before they get in. You mm -hmm. know, it's like you're not going to be dependent on getting just sole source 8A awards. You kind mm -hmm. of need to be able to compete and not just get 8A contracts, especially as you get into the developmental mm -hmm. so phase. So you've got consulting, you've got uh, events that got you events do. events event coordination and, yes. and, 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 you know, development within the business or business development, the networking activity, anything else that, uh, or that you're developing or thinking of that we won't be giving away any trade secrets <laughs> to talk about? I think we have a lot more play <laughs> as of right now. Uh -huh. So where do you see, where do you want to take the business or, or what do you envision? I mean, we, we definitely want to see, and we, I, I mean, this kind of goes back to, you know, wanting to help small businesses. We want to see more small businesses take advantage of these programs. Both mm -hmm. here, uh, we are serving some clients on the mainland as well. So we would like to increase the amount of small businesses that are getting in. Uh, we want to have more events. Um, we are also looking at our nonprofit, too, and kind mm -hmm. of ways to give back through that. Mm -hmm. and, and all of us have experienced in one way or another being born and raised here in Hawaii, moving away and the difficulty of coming home right. mm -hmm. and you know finding a job and having a career and being able to, to live here in Hawaii with mm -hmm. the cost of living and everything like that. So I think we also just are very passionate about making sure that a lot of people are able to go away and come home and if they can't find a job, 
feel that they still have, you know, entrepreneurship and the avenue of building their own business. Mm -hmm. And that's what we definitely want to encourage both with our for-profit and our non-profit. Right. Mm -hmm. you. So you, you would be working with perhaps individuals who are looking at startup phase or early business phase as well? We or? have been, and it's kind of limited, but we definitely do provide support. I mean, we do refer people, you know, to other resources such mm -hmm. as SBDC or the P-Tax because they, you know, they're free resources. Right. Right. Um, we actually do have a lot of individuals who are looking at the NHO program, so mm -hmm. we kind of help them start their nonprofit mm -hmm. and help with either acquiring a for profit or you know starting a new for profit. Mm -hmm. So Again, we kind yeah. of mm -hmm. have a, a wide range of, of businesses. Mm -hmm. About you know, tell me something about your clients or maybe some of their success stories as well, or see people you've seen grow or open a new location or add a, add a number of jobs? Um. Yeah, I mean, as Kanoe mentioned, I think, you know, Na Ali'i has been a great client. As she mentioned, they were named by PBN to be Hawaii's fastest growing company, and they're just doing great work. Mm -hmm. uh, they have an office in D.C. as well as here. I think the successes, though, have been seeing clients get into the program. So mm -hmm. we kind of we haven't really seen them grow. Na Ali'i is probably one of the ones that have been doing, you know, great in the program. And then what type of um, industry are they in? Um, so they do um, environmental work. They also do kind of um, knowledge base, which is mm -hmm. IT related. Okay. And they also do base operation. Okay. Yeah. But That's we've had great. a couple of clients recently get in and their applications are moving quicker. Uh -huh. Yes, we're Thank happy you. about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's actually really funny because we were just talking about how we enjoy getting the emails, even if they're late at night or early in the morning, about our clients who just got their acceptance their letter acceptance, yes. into the program and their reactions. And, and everyone has a different reaction, but it's always really funny because you can hear the excitement, yeah. even mm -hmm. in the email. The, Yay, we got it! <laughs> we did it, we did it. But that's great. Yeah. So if somebody who's watching us today wants to contact you and get into one of the programs mm -hmm. or check out your networking or your coffee hour, how do they reach you? So our website is holomuaconsulting.com. I think it's on your screen there. Okay. Um, it's actually a great resource too. We have a blog where we kind of provide, you know, more specific details and kind of updates on what's going on with regards to the program or regulations. Um, schedule a consultation. We have free consultation. There is a link on our website to do so. So you can come in and talk to us and figure out how we might be able to help you and kind of figure out whether or not certain programs are a right fit. Yeah, and okay. you can also look us up on Facebook. Uh, we do have a page, Holomua Consulting Group, and we do post not just you know our opportunities, but other opportunities that are happening that we feel our clients or our network would be interested in. I would definitely recommend signing up for our coffee talk on Saturday the 24th of this month. I think it's just a great opportunity to meet other businesses that are doing the same thing that you're doing or are interested and are all in different stages of startup to successful right. and hearing their perspective. Sounds like it would just be a great time to go over and have a cup of coffee yes, and see yes. what's going on with small business. Yes. So remember that if you're thinking about getting into small business, you're into interested in getting into government contracting, check out Holomua Consulting Group. You can Google them, find out what's going on, and check back with them. And uh, thanks very much Thank for being so here. Thank you so much for having it. us. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for being here. Aloha. Aloha.